Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Once again, it's Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time, their Games Workshop license. I have got the Terminator Grey Knights, the Grey Knights Terminators, rather. Uh, four of them have come, so along with Castilian Crow, that makes five, and with the uh, Venable Dreadnought, that makes six releases for the Grey Knights thus far. Look really cool. Let's get a look at the boxes. So I will say the names, or try to say the names once, and I will not do them again because I will forget. So Terminator, Jarek, uh, Thu, maybe, Thu, maybe. Looks pretty cool. I love that sort of a uh, pole arm stroke halberd he's got there. Turn over, you can see him on the back. Very, very nice. I love that helmeted head as well. Very, very atmospheric. Looks pretty cool. Now these were delayed because I had to change the... Uh, the bolters a bit more curved but we'll have a look at that a bit later very cool so that's one number two uh we have cadon vibova slightly easier to say looks pretty cool it's that massive hammer he's got there as well look at that good grief that is huge with a bit of mod you can make that work for fantasy that is massive very very nice looking and these are all around 12 cm according to the boxes next one is retius akantar who's got the standard fortunately he holds that in front of himself so i won't overbalance him backwards but he's got like a sword for a book on his back it looks like there very cool with a nice sword and the last of the bunch that I'm picking up is Incanus Neodan. He's got the unhelmeted head, which does look pretty cool. Does he come with a helmeted one? And the answer is yes, he does. And he's got that sort of uh, is it a blood letter head there. Where he's been hunting demons. Very, very cool. Okay, so... I am going to set these up and then we'll get our first look, close look, articulation and then we'll get like a family shot with Castilian Crow and if you can find where I put my Venable Dreadnought because it's a lot easier to find if I had shelves and everything stuck up as opposed to boxes piled up on boxes. If I can find that I'll set them up too. Okay so I'll be back in an instant with these guys set up and if you like this sort of content please consider joining Patreon, link in the top right of your screen now, also in the video description. We have opportunities to win joy toy prizes and there's other stuff you can enjoy there too. Okay I'll see you guys in an instant. And here they are. Wow. Um, so first impressions, look is absolutely fantastic. They've really done a cracking job on the aesthetic. They look so imposing, they're chunky, they're formidable, they're bulky. So many details on them, they just look really, really good. Um, what I don't like, some things are a bit loose, some things are really, really difficult and tight, like the hands trying to get the weapons in. I didn't heat the hands up, but that would have been something I would recommend if you can do that. The fingers are strong, they're not likely to snap if you bend them, but still, very, very stiff. Um... But we'll have a look at a uh, close look in a moment. Now they all come with accessories or alternate hands. There's three hands. Same as you've seen on the body too, but bigger, I guess. So you've got this grey fist for the left hand. We've got a left hand open and we've got a left hand pointing. So it's all left hand alternatives. That we get that get there. Two fingers pointing. Okay, let's go from left to right for our close look. So Guy on the far left, I've got his name already. Uh, so he comes with a helmeted head as standard, but I did manage to swap the head over. Now the heads do come with an extra pin here, which I didn't think was needed because the getting that pin out of the body was almost impossible. Getting out of the head was a lot easier. So this is the head he comes with. Doesn't look great when it's outside of the actual Terminator, but definitely has that knight look. And they are called grey knights. Got the little sort of a little cross going, motive going on there. Okay, now let's look at, have a look at him. Now he is holding up this uh, blood letter. Not the best, but does look pretty cool. See his bolt gun is rounded. He does have drilled barrels, unlike Castilian Crow. And he does have a hole in the barrel on this side too. In fact, you can see through. You can see really, really cool. 
great details on him. I'm not sure about all these words like smite and whatnot. It just puts me off a little bit. Victor, you know, grey knight, champion, blah, 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 blah. The head, this unhabited head sculpt is far better than Castilian Crow. Far nicer. Very, very cool indeed. Great details on that. Look around. Faith, blah, blah, blah. They've got these little wires attached to the arms for this uh, little is it a flamer there, maybe. Very cool. Very, very nice figures, packed full of details. Another thing I'm also keen on is these parts here are sort of soft rubber. So it's quite hard to push in, but I guess it makes it more difficult to break them. So let me put him back over there and I'll show you this uh, blood leather head. Or like a blood letter. Quite cool. In fact, it's nicely got this sort of blood dripping out. This purplish, blackish blood, but there's no real inking on it. Just a bit of, yeah... You know, a bit of dry brushing fat to really make that pop. Next one. Let's get him out here. Very, very cool. This rather long and menacing halberd. Now, these are expensive because there are so many unique parts on them that you can't really use for anything else other than Grey Knights. And so, you know... That makes the tooling really quite expensive for these because not you're not going to get a lot of use out of them except for Grey Knights. But the actual look is amazing. Really, really quite fantastic. Another thing I don't like is now this, unlike Castilian Crow, their bolters are fixed to the arms. They don't rotate around the arm, which makes it a bit annoying. Okay, next one with the hammer. Now, I, this is the only one I've changed the handle to his open hand on his left there. You can see almost holding the hammer, but it's very difficult with that gun on his arm in the way. Beautiful inking on the handle, though. Look at that. Very, very nice. Different on the shin pads. Glory! In... What's that say? Imperator. Champion Knight again. Very cool. Nice on the head sculpt as well. Shoulder holding with the skull. We saw already on the one before. All these details around here. Very, very nice. Great looking figures. And then it's come to the last one. It's got that really heavy standard. Yeah. So nice standard, and the fact that it's a it's not flat is actually 3D. It's raised and whatnot, and you've got these parts that actually move on it as well. It is fantastic. Really good job on that. Looks great. Have a look at him. Sword we've seen already. He's got slightly different on his knees. He's got sort of a double skull on both sides on his knees, which looks pretty cool. Same gun. Different sort of book than the others, much more chunky on his sort of back. That's so heavy you can't actually support it, that banner. And we come around. So yeah, that banner being so heavy, he's he can't actually support it with his wrist or his arm either. Yeah, see look, his wrist can't support his arm can, his wrist can't. I mean they've made it 3D so it looks far better, but it's not something he can sort of hold up and support. It has to be balanced on the ground there. Four fantastic looking figures. Um, articulation's not going to be the same. These two were probably the best because they don't have the cloth part by their legs there. But it's just a small, small thing. Then obviously because the guy with the unwanted uh, head hasn't got the helmet, he'll have better head articulation. So I will go for the hammer guy. Yeah. <sighs> So I said, that hammer wouldn't take that much to make a work of fantasy. Chop off, chop off, and that's pretty much it, and repaint, but not going to waste that much money on a hammer, unless I see it separate on Tao Bao, I might be tempted. But that hammer is huge. This part is loose, which is nice, because it means that the legs have better articulation, not fixed in place. Okay, so, hammer, I will get out of his hands. 
Let's have a look at articulation. The feet are huge as well. They're bigger than other feet, which is good for balance. So uh, top, you can turn this around if you want because it's just it's a plug-in. But head is what nothing. Small forwards, backwards. He can turn, not really side to side. And that's it. Shoulders all the way. Out to the side is going to be atrocious. This is flat, as flat as he goes, and to the side. I'm, what, getting there? That's hardly anything. And, you know, they've got a bicep swivel, but they could fix this easily just by attaching this above the bicep swivel on a barbell joint that's angled that way or that way. So it can move a lot more. So I'm disappointed. That shoulder is just terrible. I mean, look at that. They could have got a lot more movement out of that. Bicep, he's really chunky, but he does, you can see, get 90 degrees. Hand on the barbell joint, so he goes directions and turns all direct. Uh, he can move and turn around all directions, but this gun is fixed, so you can't move that. And it does get in the way, making it a bit difficult to swap the hands. Gun does look good. Uh, there is a bicep swivel, a proper one, not just from the joint. So the cables don't get in the way of them doing the bicep, you see. It's just really the sculpt, the bulk gets in the way. Trunk, forwards, backwards, but it's a bit loose, side to side, really good. Turn, waist, has a forwards, backwards, side to side, and a turn as well. So together, his forwards is very impressive. His backwards is ridiculous for something so bulky. His side to side is good, and his turns are great. Legs, the little sort of insignia seals, whatever, are getting in the way. But look, backwards is really good, actually. Forwards is not great. Outwards. Is all right, but he's struggling with his own body weight. Thigh twist, double kneecap. Bulk gets in the way, gets about 90, the ugly kneecap joint. Foot has a boot turn, has pretty decent tippy toe for his bulk. Dorsiflexation is small but okay. And he has the toe articulation. I just popped the joint out of his foot there. He has toe articulation, you can see there as well. Now this goes in which way? It's going to be big into the foot. There we go. And small into the ankle, into the lower leg. Let's get this aligned first. There we go. There. It's in. Very, very nice looking. Now, what I was talking about, the hands only being so stiff, what I did, and I'll do now for you quickly, to put the uh, hammer in, Get this angle down slightly. Is I use my fingers to bend back, and that's not that's not nice in your fingers now. And then I just work through like this. The fingers are very strong, they've got give, they're quite stiff, rubbery, but you can get in that way. But it might be easier, especially when you first take it out to put it in hot water first, just to uh, loosen it up a little bit. Okay, let's get our size check. They say 12 cm, so it's looking about right. So if I am here to the top of the head is around 12, to the top of the actual armor is probably around 13, 13 and a half. We know they're bulky, they're terminators. If I compare to uh, some other figures quickly, so if I get my uh, Invicta Warsuit Pilot, who I keep using for my comparisons, who's Body 1 and Ultramarines and in much different armour, you can see that they tower above him. They make him look like almost a different scale. But you'd expect that from Terminators. If I move this guy down a little bit, move him down a little bit as well, use my Mishmash Orc Commando, where he's over here, there we go. Who is a big chunky boy. They make him look 
small as well. I mean, they tower over them and they're far more bulky too. So very, very nicely uh, scaled, I think. Okay, let me take these guys away. Now, what I'm going to do now is quickly set them up in a semi-action pose, but that's going to be difficult with their limited articulation and balancing issues because of the weight of their weapons. So they've got big feet. Uh, a um, semi... In fact, before I do that, I'll look at uh, Castilian Crow. So Castilian Crow here, look, you can see that his gun, although it moves round and you can take it off, there are no draw barrels, there's no hole in the side that goes all the way through. You know, it's got that curved with um angled curve there, but not the round curve like they got on their guns. So I'm hoping when my ordered copy comes and not the review copy, which is this one, that'll actually be different, but we will see. Um he feels actually a fair bit less chunky than them. Uh and it's got this book of cheats coming off, and I can't stand the fact that you make a thing that can't stay on nicely. So if I stick him in there too, we can see that he fits in really well, but again, they do make him look small. They are just big, chunky, bulky boys, as you'd expect. Okay, so let me quickly pause this, set up a semi-action pose, get the uh, Dreadnought and get all our Grey Knights together and see what they look like. So I'll be back in an instant. And here they are, everything set up together. Very, very good. You're going to have a shelf set up. That's going to look really, really good. Um, but out of all the releases so far, I think Grey Knights are some of the best looking, but the least practical for play purposes. You know, it's, it's quite difficult to pose them in some things because of the limited articulation and weight of their weapons. But don't let that put you off. They look amazing. The amount of time they've put into capturing the details and actually capturing the details so well is amazing. So, you know, hats off to Joy Toy for that. Let's get a little pan. Very, very cool. Some fantastic looking releases. Um, I'm not going to put them in my, in my tops for the releases. I mean, for looks wise, they're right up there, probably in the top three. Um, all together, but because of, I like my toys to have slightly better articulation and posability, blah blah blah, they'll be coming down my list a fair bit because of that. But they are just amazing looking toys. Okay, this is all Snatch Toys signing out saying please like, share, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video as soon as it's published. And again, please check out the Patreon link in the video description below which also has discount codes for Joy Toy and also has the timestamps for the video, which is a bit like telling you that now because I end the video. Um, and I'll see you in the next review I do. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.